Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. And welcome back, everyone. We are here to move your life forward, help you with that journey. I firmly believe that we are all on a journey in our lives, and there's different different parts of that journey that sometimes you need help with. Sometimes you, you need a life coach. We've got a great one for you today. Andrew Dale is back with us. Andrew, welcome. How are you doing? Great. How are you, Steve? Doing well. We're here to help you master your life. And that's something that that you do for a, a lot of people. When we say master your life, really, what does that encompass? What? How would we define that? Living your truth. Um, we're all individuals. And the closer we get to our heart and, and mind and, and living who we are, the uh, the better we are at attracting the people into our lives that make it make a positive difference in our life. Um, no one's the same, you know, and trying to be someone else doesn't serve anyone. The, the, and it's, you've got to be careful when, when I talk about things like this, people who um, haven't started uh, their journey sort of go, well, what are you talking about? Um, there, it is a step-by-step -step process. Uh, learning, you know, pick up a book, read a little bit more about uh, knowing who you are, and you'll start to understand that if you're unhappy in any part of your life or whatever, it's all solvable. Everything is solvable. You know, it's we're never broken. We're 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 always whole. We've just got to find those pieces and and make sure they're all operating in the same direction. <laughs> so when so. you say about us living our true lives, that old cliche, hey, you're living a lie. Is that kind of the same thing where you're not being yourself? Absolutely. We we try and over time, you've got to remember, however old you are, that's how many years you've had practicing. And if if you um if you practice golf or you practice yoga and you do it badly for long enough, um, that's what that's how you'll play, you know, or that's how you'll do your yoga. You'll probably end up with a really bad back or or a really bad golf swing if you're not correcting yourself and staying aligned the whole time. Um, and that's that's exactly the same as our lives, but it's not nearly as obvious. You know, if, if you're doing really bad yoga poses, you're off to the doctor or the chiropractor straight away. Mm. If your golf swing's really bad, um, you're either very persistent or you uh, go and fight, go sailing or something. But, <laughs> but uh, you, yeah, it becomes... Those type of games make it very obvious if you're on track or not. And um, whereas if you're um, in your life, you're not, it's not as obvious that you're off track, you know, and especially if you're, you know, we talk about relationships sometimes. If that same old relationship that's not serving you turns up in three or four people, um, it's definitely something that if you don't change, it will continue to happen. Um, if you don't, and the reason you're attracting those people is um, part of you from your past or the way you're behaving now isn't aligned with who you really need to be. Hmm. Um, you know, you're in the past, there may have been, especially in your early life, there may have been a time when, you know, you had an abusive parent or uh, someone in your life uh, put you down consistently, and you got very comfortable with that. Whether it's right or wrong, you just got comfortable with that. And so if you got comfortable with someone being um, abusive or rude to you and your body is used to feeding that energy, you will crave that energy. And and if your partner is behaving really well and you want that energy, you're going to annoy them so much that they're going to be horrible to you and you're going to say oh you're being horrible to me but that's what you that's what you were seeking you know and this isn't this isn't a broad brush or anything like that you know i'm not blaming every, anybody i'm just saying if they're the people you're attracting um if you don't want to attract those people or that part of a personality out of the people around you you need to get um you need to get on track with who you really are because no one wants that type of no one needs that type of um, animosity in their lives. You know, we get used to it. Um, we have to we have to re-educate ourselves 
on what is acceptable to us in our lives. And by by doing that, all of a sudden that toxic family member gets to understand that you'll no longer accept that behaviour, you know, and by you change, and family members are the hardest to change because they've, they've accepted you for 20, 30, 40 years as you are, and now you're making these changes and, and they'll go, but, but I'm used to just being a bully to you. Well, why do we need to change? Well, that's not acceptable. <laughs> you know, if, if you want to bully and you you know, you want to bully someone, go somewhere else. You Isn't know? it amazing, Andrew, how we get used to that behavior from others or we continue to accept it? And it's funny, I believe in astrology to many degrees. And an astrologer told me last year that you need to find somebody who truly supports and serves you. Mm -hmm. And I think what she was saying, in fact, I know what she was saying was what you're saying is inside you now was in a relationship for a while. And I always thought that person did truly support me, but I don't think they did in the end. I saw, you know, changes in them. It, it really wasn't true support, which was, you know, what's coming from inside here. And I think that's what that astrologer, what you're saying was trying to say that. And for everybody else that, you may think that it's working for you, but if you feel something's off, even the tiniest thing is off, misaligned in a relationship, it probably yeah. isn't what's right for you. And and it's hard to find people who are who are there for you. It, it it's hard, but it's not hard. Um, if you um, if you look at the people around you, it won't always be the people you expect. Um, that will be giving you that support. Um, the worst people for you are the ones that say um, it's always everybody else's fault. Um, they are, they, you know, um, your partner, it's, you know, it's always the partner's fault. It's never your fault. They're not really helping you that much. Sure. But if, if they, um, if they're aligned with your outcome, right, if you want to have, um, people around you that are, you know, you've got to let people know your story, you know, and if your story is, um, I want a solid relationship, I want a spiritual connection, um, I want to move forward with my finances, this is how I'm going to do it. Americans are great at getting around people who know where they're going. You know, if you, if you say to um, people around you, I'm going to build this business and um, and this is what I need to do. The people who support that outcome are the people you need to to listen to. You know, if if one person is saying, "Come on, you got it. It's Saturday morning, and you haven't finished your week. Come on, let's go." And um, and you know it's necessary to go. And then you got your buddy over there that says, "Oh, it's the weekend. Let's go drinking." Um, you you you've got a choice. You know, if you go drinking, then you're not serious. And when you do that, um, it's not other people will judge you, but they'll certainly ask you the question, why did you choose to go drinking instead of completing the tasks that you needed to complete for your own goals? You know, and this is where we need to we need to be aligned with ourselves so that we we know what goals that we have. Um, yeah, well, when yeah. I was young, I used to go yacht racing. And I was yacht racing off Sydney Harbour, and I had a had a friend who used to turn up every Friday night with a bottle of alcohol, <laughs> and we had a uh, had a lovely time for about six weeks. And um, yeah, there was a little bit too much drinking going on. Anyway, so while I was off Sydney Heads. I wanted to do the Sydney Hobart yacht race, and and building up to that, there's a whole series of yacht racing in 30, 40, 50 foot yachts, and it's very competitive. And we're out there. And um, one of the jobs is to go down below and pack a spinnaker uh, once you've used it. And the problem with that is if it's a very light day, the boat's sloshing around, and, you know, and, and it's very uncomfortable and I never get seasick. But I tell you, the day after I drank too much and I was down below and, you know, there's 15 people there relying on you to pack this spinnaker quickly and efficiently and get it right, and if you're feeling seasick, you can't do your job. So I just went, all right, I'm, it's no more Friday nights. 
um, until this is over, you know, until I achieve my goal. And, and, you know, what is my choice in life? What do I need? You know, do I need to drink or do I need to get, you know, do I love my sailing more? And um, can I, and ask, you, can I, too. Can I ask a question? Sure. Okay. When, when you were drinking on those Friday nights and we all go out and have fun, you know, with friends all the time, you know, it's just, it's, we're social. Do you think that you were doing that maybe to run away from the pressures of success? Like just, I mean, I'm putting on hold a little bit. I'm going to party a little bit. Um, it's almost like pressing the pause button a little bit with knowing that you had to confront moving forward and you had those goals, but maybe you had a thought that I don't know if I'm going to easily attain them. There's a lot of work involved. So, you know, I'm going to pivot over here and have some fun. What do you think? Um, in that particular case, I was young and stupid. Okay. <laughs> Better you know, done that. <laughs> young and stupid. And I had a friend that was a really good friend. And, um, and yeah, but we do, we got ourselves in some trouble. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was, it was time, you know, some, yeah, but uh, I know exactly what you're saying, but in, in that particular case, just, sure. but it's, but it is being, um, I was trying to do, uh, do everything in that have party um, and, um, and be, have a serious, you know, this was the Sydney Hobart yacht race is one of the big, one of the toughest in the world. And, um, and it's not a place to play. There's not, a, you know, right. the racing up to it. There's, there's champions from all over the world there. And, um, and it's, you know, you can go out and, uh, you can go out and have a drink without getting to the point where you're affecting the next day. And, um, yeah, but it, it's very much knowing what your, you know, I knew my outcome, you know, and my outcome was to race in the Sydney Hobart Yacht Race. I'd, I'd actually come down from Darwin, changed my location just to do this yacht race. And, um, yeah, so it was, yeah, it was part of a journey, but, you know, I made it. Made a clear choice. <laughs> Good for you. Well, you know, fortunately, you realize that, you know, I can't do this if I want to do this. Um, but again, when we're young, we think we can do it all. <laughs> it sometimes yeah. doesn't work that way. Uh, you do something or you focus on something called the trouble tree and working with, with people to help them move along. What exactly is the trouble tree? Well, what we find um, is that, well, this is where we come. We were talking about energy earlier. Um, within our bodies, uh, we build up negative energy during the day. Like if you've if you've got a hard job, or um, or you're having a, a troublesome family life, doesn't matter where your troubles come in. But we build up, and it might be troubles from our past. But we build up this energy mm -hmm. over time, and um, and we need to get rid of it. We need to get. We need to release that negative energy because it doesn't uh, serve us. Um, and so, what it is is, uh, before we go into the house, we gather up that energy and we leave it at a tree, or we leave it. You know, when we get to the office, we choose somewhere to leave that energy outside, and we walk over and we leave it there. And by doing that, you're 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 not taking your negative energies into your home. You're not taking – so your your daily troubles, you're not taking them into the home. Now, just to explain that a little bit more, uh, and I'll actually go through the procedure in a minute, um, but I'd like to talk about energy a little bit because sure. a lot of people just think, you know, it's really woo-woo, it's out there, you know, it doesn't make any sense. Um I think most of us have done enough science to understand that we're, there's molecules everywhere in the world and they all, they're always moving. We're not actually a solid. We're, we're made up of these molecules. And there's positive and negative energies that keep these molecules in check. And that's just normal science, you know. So it's not all of this, um, all of this energy practice that people talk about. It's just part of normal science where the where there's um energy is going to be built up over time within your body and what what we need to understand is that we choose what energy we keep in our body okay and there's different practices for moving it around and a lot of my clients are like if if i had the conversation with them on you know the moment i met them 
and said, all right, you're going to do all this energy stuff. They're going to go, you're nuts. But, you know, half an hour into what I'm, uh, you know, going through the introduction and everything else, they then understand that it's part of our spirituality. It's part of our, our inner being is that we have light and dark energy within us. And by understanding that this is a natural force, um, you know, it, it's very much a part of a part of us. So going back to the trouble tree, over time within our lives, we build up um, different energy, right? And one of the things I do with my clients is I get them to put their hand on their heart and allow them to just close their eyes and just feel the light from above come into their body. And by doing that simple practice and taking a few deep breaths and doing it, um, you tend to feel the energy come alive in your body. And so what we do is, what I get my clients to do, is before they go into the house, if they've got problems, um, because you need somewhere of, you need a peaceful place in the world. So, so before they go into the house, what I do is I get them to stand outside and choose a spot, generally a tree or something like that, and just put their hand on their heart and allow the light to come into their body and allow that light to, to flush out their body. And as they do that, they just hold out their hands. And in doing so, we watch a ball start to spin in our hands. And it actually, you'll, you'll actually feel the weight of that ball grow. And that's that negative energy coming out of your body. And you're allowed to grow and you'll feel it growing in your hands. And as that spinning ball takes out the negative energy, it it's clearing your, your mind, body and heart of, of a whole lot of negativity that's not serving you. And it's a whole lot of thoughts and things like that. And once that ball gets to a certain level, you just... You can just put it down under a tree. Now, you're not getting rid of any information or, or anything like that. You're just putting it down under the tree. Now, if that information is important to you or those emotions are important to you, when you come out the next morning, those emotions are there for you. You can go and pick them up from the tree. But the funniest part is they're normally dissipated into the universe because they were never serving you in the first place. And by allowing yourself to, every time you go into your home, keeping that as a safe space, mm. it helps you sleep at night. It helps you be pleasant to your family. It helps you to, to move forward in a whole lot of ways. Um, it's If you don't give your mind a, a rest, if you don't allow your body to, to recover, um, it's in a constant state of static. And by allowing by allowing that energy to move aside and going into your house in its in a state of peace, you're allowing your body to to do some repairing. And over time, it's, you will very quickly um, come to understand what you, that you don't really need that energy. And if you do that practice on a regular basis, um, you will find that you're a happier person uh, quite quickly. Because uh, those those energies just don't serve you. But the important part there is you have different areas of your life that have different stresses, and if you take your, if you keep carrying the stresses of work into your home, and then you build on that and take them back into your work, um, your work colleagues aren't. You know, you're always going to have this tension at work from some of the stuff you've brought from home. And then you're going to take that stress from work and take it into your family. That's not serving anyone. You know, that's and that's taking you further away from your truth because almost no one on this planet wants to be upset and stressed all their life. <laughs> you know, and um, and it's this is why I hate labels. Like if people have been labeled as something, they try and hang on to that label. Forget your labels, people. <laughs> there are no labels. All so. of this, I, I love the way you look at it, Andrew, in 
taking those stressors, put them in the bowl, leave them outside and don't take them into your home because your home should be a sacred spot. That's your comfort zone. That's where, you know, of course, there's going to be stressors. There's going to be, you know, conflicts between family, relatives and, and such, but at least you're kind of minimizing it. And for anybody that, that hears this, sees this about this, this energy thing, it's been proven. It's, it's, it's research. It's scientific. Everything is energy, not just living things. This pen is energy right here. Uh, different type of energy than, than we harness. I will say this. I wish I realized the power of energy years ago, and I was exposed to it in, a, in my career in some different ways. And I worked with it in terms of promoting it, but didn't really fully understand it until in the last couple of years. And wow, <laughs> what, a, what it really shows you, what it, it's, it's everything. You know, it, it governs emotions, everything in your life, if you can understand it. Now, you said before that we make a choice on the energy that we keep inside of us. Do we always have that choice? Is it always there? Or, or do we internalize things without even knowing that we're doing it? Uh, it's a lot of what we're doing is a lot of what we do is subconscious. Um, the more you become conscious of what you're doing, the less you internalize things. Um, if you... The um, actually one of the favorite people I listen to is Taylor Swift of all people, because um, and a lot of guys probably never sat down and listened to her. Or, she's very young, but she's like upfront, like she keeps her personal stuff to to herself. But if you um, if you want to if you want to date her and you and it doesn't end well, guess what? You're you're the uh, subject of the next song. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> um, but she um she just internal she just is always up front with herself you know she she doesn't um hide from things and um she she's very um how can i say it? energy wise she's focused she she understands her family so like her family life is sacred if she doesn't want people to know her business, she just says, mind your own business. Um, she she was bullied at school and she no longer puts up with it, right? And I, I read something today. She said, you know, forgive and forget. You don't always have to forgive people. Um, you if, if, they're, um, if they're not, you know, if they're being atrocious to you, you just move on. You forget them. And... Uh, all of the, my point here is her energy is, you know, she values herself. She she values herself and she values her peace of mind, um, which what which is what we should all do by valuing ourselves. Um, one of the, we should forgive the people that honor us. The rest of it, we wrap it in love and let it go. We don't have to forgive someone that has wronged us so badly that it, it hurts, you know, you can't find it in yourself to forgive. You are not obliged to forgive anyone. You you forgive people to get your own peace of mind back, yep. right? And if someone has wronged you, um, you, what you do is you wrap it in love and let it go. And what you're doing is taking back your personal power. This is part of the energy. You know, this is how you say, all right, that was a terrible thing to do to me. I don't want to forgive this person. I'm going to wrap that in, in love um, so it no longer has control over me. It's about control control of your mind. Uh, I'm going to wrap that that particular moment of, in time in love and let it go. Now, a moment in time can be one second or it can be 50 years. It's whatever that period of anguish um, affected you for. But until you let it go, until you take control of your life and say, I've got to wrap this in love and let it go, that whoever controlled that is controlling you. Yep. Right? And why do you want people controlling your outcome that haven't got um, the best of you or, or the best for you at at their front of mind, you know, you, you need to control 
when I say control, I, I hate the word, but you need yeah. to take control of your life by allowing your mind to be who it is, by loving yourself enough to say, I'm not letting anyone else control my life. This is who I am. Um, this is where I am. I'm not going to let negative energy control my life. I'm not going to let um, any incident control my life. I'm going to honour my victories. Whatever I've done right in this life, I'm going to be proud of. Whatever, whatever has wronged me, I'm going to let it go. I know where I'm going. I'm going to live in the moment, but I know where I'm going. And by doing those things, um, you will... Living in the moment is so important because you'll stop and smell the roses. You'll see beautiful sunsets. You'll find people that are aligned with you that you would have walked past before. Um, you'll find all of these things. But knowing where you're going, that other people can come along and say, you know, and I love to talk about sailing. I want to go sailing this afternoon. And someone else says, oh, i got a boat. Let's go sailing. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and People want to be part of your party, whatever it is when you're in a good, good place. But if you're focusing all your energy on that, that past situation, it's there. It's not here. And it's often been said before too, when we talk about energy, well, first of all, the power of forgiveness is so powerful. It is a game changer. Not easy. <laughs> you're not condoning what somebody did, but once your energy shifts and you do forgive that person. And I love what you said, Andrew, wrap it in love. You can't forgive them and say, yeah, I'm going to forgive them. You No, it's like, God bless you. Good luck. And I, I set you free. But the energy shifts. And there's always a good chance that that person may start being pleasant to you, whether you want to or not. It might make things a little bit easier in life just because of the, the shift of your, your energy. Uh, it's all there in, in, in what we're talking about, the energy, but not a... We don't know it until we know it, and, and for that, we have somebody like you to to illustrate it, you know, and with different techniques. I'm I'm all about that, like in in terms step by step. You yeah. can't just say it, it. You present it like this is what you need to do. Here's another idea. Try this idea here. Here, it's uh, th I think that's important, especially in our lifestyles now, where we're always moving like a hundred miles a minute. Um, Almost like spoon feeding. <laughs> you know, oh, look, it it's and it's. Um, I was thinking about this today. It's a house of cards that we build o over time. So if someone's forty or fifty years old, say they're fifty years old, um, over that time they've built different houses of cards for the, for their different blockages in life. And you don't have to go through your whole life to remove that blockage. You just have to take out the right card, and the whole lot falls down. Mm. And then there might be one or two left standing, and then we deal with them. But it's 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 definitely a continual process, and um, but it, most of it is understanding energy practices and things like this. It's it's an activity. It's not a thought process. So if you're sitting back and you're going, I don't really understand energy. I'm going to read about it, analyze it, and see why it works. You're never going to get it. You just wait. You know you. Um, it's it's like driving a car and getting in the car and saying I want to feel I want to know what it's like in New York today. I'm in um, I'm in Maryland. I want to know what it's like to in New York today, but I don't want to start the car. <laughs> you know, yeah. I'll just read about New York and figure out what New York was like, and then I'll I'll know it. You got to go there. You got to go there, and it it's just um, you know grab start moving in that direction. Listen to people. Uh, but take action. It's an action sport. It's not a spectator sport. And the moment you start to feel that energy um, and know that energy within you, then you've got, you're at a starting point. We've got to get you to the starting point. And the starting point is um, knowing where, you know, knowing where you are, knowing that everything's achievable um, and anything that you want is, is just on the other side of taking action you know if until you take that action you're never gonna you know you're never gonna know um, what you just said and we're, we're out of time but what you said is so powerful because that one little action it could be this the forgiving of someone that one little thing that you do could change your life tomorrow and I know it sounds like a cliche but you know once you move that person out of your life and forgiveness for example 
another person could walk in the next day because you made room for them. It yeah. could happen like that. It may take a little bit longer than that, whatever your goals are. Um, but that's energy. If somebody wants to to reach out to you, Andrew, they just go to your website. Uh, share that with us, please. Yeah, it's andrewjdale.com. Um, come along and uh, I offer a free clarity session. So click in there. The clarity session is for you to unpack where you're at and uh, and find out where you want to go. And I and that's most of the clarity session. And I'll let you know what I can do for you. It, yes or no is fine. It's it's a service that I offer. Um, and uh, yeah, but come along. I'd love to meet you. And it's um, yeah, just on the website. Have a look. Have a look at a couple of the testimonials too, because uh, as I said, my clients are just normal people who found um, who are finding extraordinary ways to live, which is yeah. which is great. Well, you know what I got today from you? Lots of clarity. <laughs> it really <laughs> did in terms of what you offer and and how you do it. So uh, I appreciate that, and uh, I know uh, beneficial for all of us. So yeah, go to the website and start the process. And uh, do I say let's go sailing? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. All right, Andrew. Go, Thank you so much. And we'll talk soon again. Okay. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. We'll be right back. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcasts on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house. And there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit HFOTUSA.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's it's going to be okay.